One of my favorite types of videos, refilling the activity kits. This month I have a lot of new things to put in here. I wanna share with you all of the details on what I am putting inside our little boxes of things to do for our kids. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are refilling the activity kits, which we do about once a month. I use these kits to kind of keep my kids busy when they say they're bored or they have nothing to do. They also know they can go to these boxes and pull out activities and do them on their own. I actually started this when they were really, really little, like toddler age, and I would take them to restaurants. They were our restaurant activity kits, but we don't go to restaurants as often anymore, so I kind of changed it into a I'm a bored activity kit to use at home. If you have younger kids, mine are seven and nine, right? right now, but if you're younger kids, I have older videos and lots of ideas that are still great in those videos to go back and watch. I'll put a playlist down below so you can go and watch them. Lots of great ideas. And I also have an Amazon store where I've been keeping track of all the things I've been putting inside these activity kits. So if you're really interested in getting some of these things or getting inspired for some ideas, check out that link down below. Let's get to our activity kits. I'm gonna show you what was in last month's and then show you what's in this month's. So usually I go through and I show you the things that worked and didn't work, but I think some of the things are missing, but we'll do our best to give you a good review. First off, we have these block chains from Think Fun, and um, they're amazing. And I actually I'm going to tell you about these in a minute because they are part of the giveaway. So we'll go over those when we pack this box back up. And now that we've had a chance to play with them, I can give you a really good review on them. We had the story blocks, which were in this busy bag and these got played with. I'm gonna pull out a couple real quick. They have pictures on all the sides and you make stories when you pick them and you can play them all sorts of different ways. A huge, huge hit. Love these, I bring them out every now and then and my kids think they are amazing. This little Dollar Tree hockey game, another hit. My seven year old loves to play this. Not sure why, but it's only a dollar so it was worth it. We love that. It's also a great travel game. We didn't get to these little pizza Valentine's Day ceramic painting kits. So we have to do these. So I'm actually gonna pull these out and try to have them do them at some point this week. We did make our Valentines. This is the leftover Valentines and definitely another hit. They made the Valentines and spent most of the time with their activity box doing the Valentines and this is just the leftovers. Then we have our cursive book. I actually don't think they use this. My third grader is pretty much all the way through the capital and my seventh grader, or my seventh grader, what am I talking about? My second grader wasn't that interested in it but my second grader was very much interested in the Magnetab cursive book, or not book, board. And I kind of explained this in my last video, a little magnet pen and all the little magnets pop up when you trace the letters. She played with this a lot. So not so much on the writing yet, but playing with this Magnetab definitely got her interested. So it was kind of the precursor to when she enters third grade and actually starts working on cursive at school. So that means we have a clean slate to start off building our activity kits. My kids are seven in nine nine and they actually have been doing activity kits since since they're real little so they know how to take one thing out of time out and play with it and put it back and if you have younger kids definitely go back and watch some of those other videos I suggested earlier because that will be very helpful but you might get inspired by something in this kit first thing I'm going to put in the box are some dice now if they were younger I'd probably actually take out some of these and just kind of make it selective. This is like my little dice box and in here I have time dice that tells time. Here's some numbers. We have this regular ones from the dollar store. We have some really fun colored ones that came from the target dollar section with numbers one to 12. This one has a multiplication X on it, which is what they love playing. So what they will do, and I saw them doing this a couple weeks ago, so I thought it'd be good to put inside of here, is they will take a couple of these, whichever ones they just think are pretty, like maybe two of these, and then this one, and then they will roll it and they'll make math problems. This one says four times five, whoops, <laughs> times five. So now they have a math problem. So I thought I would put all of these in here just as they are because they like to pick their own and they can pick their own that way. And then I'm gonna supply them with a dry erase board so they can actually write out their problems. And they actually make their own games with this. So I'm not too worried about how they're gonna use it. I just know they will use it. And if I don't give them too many instructions, they'll find a way to play with it. This is more of a math game. You don't have to have all these little cubes, but if you want, you could just use the Dollar Tree ones or you can get the, um, multiple numbered ones. I'm gonna see if I can find them on Amazon and put a link down below so you guys can go right to it. I definitely know Amazon has this one because that's where I got these. This is numbers one through 12 too. And those are just a really great way to do some really quick math problems that are kind of fun. And they just kind of make up their own games with it. I do need to go get my dry erase marker though for this because 
they need to have the dry erase marker. And this little case I think is from the dollar store, you guys. So if you need a little case for your dice, you can um, get that there. Next up is actually a Christmas present that I'm putting inside here. We haven't gotten to it yet. It's called a mini garden dinosaur. It's for ages six and up. It's from Creativity from Kids. And this was given to us by I think grandma. And there's a little dome in here and my seven year old loves dinosaurs. So it has this like dinosaur kind of situation going on, but you actually decorate the egg and then there's chia seeds inside that grow in three to five days, it says. And so everything we need inside the kit is in here. We haven't done it yet. We haven't tried it. So I want to try it and see how it turns out. And I thought putting it in the activity kit would be really good. And they're at the age too, which they're really good at doing the crafts by themselves. I think it might be a good one to put in here. And then what I'll do is if this works out, I'll probably put this in my Instagram feed. So if you guys are interested in how it turns out, I'll put it on Instagram. And then I will also see if I can find that on Amazon too. It was a gift for us. so I'm not quite sure but I'm sure it's it's somewhere out there, right? Seven-year-old still loves the Safari LTD tube. So this one is the South African animal set. And I put it in this little photo case here with the, the printout of the animals that are in here. And she likes playing with these just on their own. She'll just do imaginative play with them. But I really wanted to kind of take it one step further for her. If this was a Montessori activity, we could do three-part cards, but I think she's a little bit advanced for that. So I went and found up in our little library, we have this cat in the hat learning library book it's called safari so good all about african wildlife she's really into books right now i thought she could also look through this book which is like a kindergarten to maybe second grade level and she's in second grade and as she's reading she can look for the animals that correspond here but then i want her to take it one step further she's really into using notebooks and so i have this little notebook from the dollar store and it's just index cards and she likes taking this little book because we have a couple of them and just writing in here and drawing pictures and they are little note cards that actually tear up so i thought what we could do is have her find a fact or something about the animals each one that she does or even draw a picture and then either copy the sentence or put it in her own words here and end up with a picture book at the end and she could do all of the animals from the safari ltd tube now if you want to get safari ltd tubes you guys i have a discount code for you you can always use click on the link and it'll automatically apply it for you or you can enter in the code that i have down in the description box and you can get a discount on tubes the website has one of the best selections ever and they're always having some really good sales too so check that out this one can be found on amazon as well it's a really good book in fact this whole series has a whole bunch of really great books and a lot of them match up to the safari ltd tubes too and then you can use any notebook anything that you find at the dollar store will work for this so i thought in addition to that i would also include some twistable crayons this would be for coloring if you haven't used twistables they're pretty amazing actually they look like this little pens and they just twist up when you need more crayons so there's no sharpening they don't break this is a 24 pack highly recommend these also from the dollar store was this pack of brain busters and you'll see these from time to time this one is the human body one and what's really cool is that each card has different facts and questions on the back so you can play like a little trivia game and also the answers for a dollar you really can't go wrong on those so if i put this in here this is for ages six and up then we have the unlock it blends and die graphs box from lakeshore learning now i'm not going to put this whole box in there but what i wanted to pull out is all of the ones with r actually let me flip it over here real quick because in speech therapy we're working on enunciating the r sound so i'm going to pull the locks we have a GR, FR, TR, and a DR and BR. I want a CR over there. I'm going to pull those out. I'm going to make my own busy bag with them. If you haven't seen the Lakeshore locks before, they come in alphabet. There's even addition, subtraction. They have all different ones, but they're pretty cool because you just have these keys that have the different matches on them and you have to match them up to the lock in order to open up the lock. So here we have dress. So we have to find the dr key and put it in to see if we're right. And if it opens, we got it right. Now she knows this already. That's the part she already knows. But my point in doing this is so that we can pronunciate these sounds for each one as she does it for practice because she's supposed to be practicing it for speech. So whenever you have a game or some kind of learning tool always look for ways that you can take out pieces of it and make it into something new and that's going to really help extend your dollar when you buy anything like this so i have a bag here i'm going to use this as a busy bag i don't know if these are going to fit i might need a bigger bag i'm going to need a bigger bag okay found a bigger bag here this is a 
little Dollar Tree pouch. You can put it in here with all the keys. And we have a little busy bag. We're working on some pronunciation of some R sounds. So my little activity box is getting kind of full, but once we do this activity, we're gonna have a lot more room. And that's where I'm going to put in our blockchains. So I showed you the blockchains in the last video, and I'm so happy now because I'm actually getting, I'm going to be able to give them away to you guys. So this is our giveaway for today. And what's cool is that blockchains, they come in a couple different styles. I'm actually showing you three different ones. There was a robot one, we had kind of a unicorn one, and then we had this one that had my, like a treasure pirate one. It's hard to remember because I don't have the boxes with me anymore. I might show you a clip over here so you can see what they actually look like when they're packaged up. But there's three different levels to each one, and each set comes with three. So the first level is just making sure that you have the same color in all different sides. So for example, on this robot one, this is a level one puzzle. Let me pull it apart to show you. You can see how all of the different pieces have different colors, but your job is to manipulate them and then to put them back together so that there's just one color all the way around. See how it goes back together? So if I look around, I still have blue here, I still have a blue here, so something didn't go together correctly. Then I pull it back apart and I move things around until I get it all red all the way around. Oh, but it's not, I got blue again. Hmm. There we go, red on all sides. The second level is having a different thing on each side. So for instance, this one has a different picture on every side, no color the same and no animal the same. And you do it the same way by pulling them apart and manipulating the boxes to fit back together that way. And then the third challenge is the most difficult one, and that is where the sides connect to each other all the way around. So this one has little lines like a treasure map. So the blue line needs to match up with the blue line on this side and then all the way around, and then it doesn't here. So I'd have to switch it around to make sure that the blue matches up all the way around and all the other colors do too. This one's the most difficult one. What's great about these is that they're a really good fidget toy and they're kind of mesmerizing too when you play with them. Great for travel because they're small in size. You can take them in the car, which I think is amazing. Great activity kit thing. Just a really all around fun toy. And then you can find a theme that you really like too. So this is part of the giveaway and I'll tell you all about those giveaway details. So Think Fun is sponsoring this giveaway. And if you would like to win all three of the blockchains, leave me a comment down below and tell me why you need to have blockchains for your kids. Then head over to the giveaway link to officially enter to win. You must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address. You'll find the giveaway link in the description box. If you have an amazing idea of something that should go in an activity kit, I wanna know about it. You guys always have some great ideas and suggestions. Leave me a comment down below telling me all about your idea. I love reading those comments. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.